I'm Andy Ballard and I'm a wheelchair racer. My preparation for Rio has actually, I think, been the last three or more years. It's a pretty long time and people sort of forget that now we're getting down to the pointy end of things where we're sort of refining, but there's been a lot of work that's gone into that. But as, in terms of training, I train in the chair six times a week and in the gym a couple of times a week and that varies a little bit depending on what block we're in, but that's basically my routine. It's everything is placed on the on the line now. This is uh, this is the tail end of the career, and it's been a it's been a great 20 years. Going into Rio, I think that now you know it's your last. You don't find too much uh, issue with motivating yourself to take the step out the door in the morning. Between now and then, we've got nine more months of training, but also competition. We've got plenty of marathons to knock over to make sure that the form's still there in the final 10k's of the marathon. That's really tested only in competition. Without the mental preparation, without desire, you're, you're not getting on the start line. You're not taking the first step, you know, in the, the decade worth of steps that are required. Your mental approach, your ability to be able to push that drive within yourself is, is everything. Without that, talent may get you through the first door, but, mate, if you open to be the best, desire and drive and, and that approach is, is everything. Winning World Champs in Doha last year was, it was huge. Early in my career I got my first World Championship medal and then didn't get one until last year. It was a huge drought and a huge journey for me to figure out how to be, go from having a little bit of talent when I started the sport to being actually able to make that performance consistently happen and actually turn out a gold medal performance.